So it's three o'clock right now in the afternoon and I just got to a campground because I'm about to do my first solo car camping adventure. So this is my car. I'm going to set up in the back, make a nice little sleep system, and I'm going to camp out in my car tonight. I'm really excited. This campground looks like it's about half full. It's actually the second campground I found. I believe this one is the only one that's plowed and open in the winter. It's kind of like on a first come first serve pay station type thing. So everything worked out well. Um, I got my little envelope right here. So I'm going to put the money in the envelope, put it in the slot and yeah, get Get to camping. <laughs> All right, just gonna go ahead and crawl back there now. <laughs> so my whole sleep system is in this bag. So let's set that up first. I got my real pillow from home and my self-inflating sleeping pad. That's gonna be the first step. Now I think this thing could completely fill up in about 15 minutes, but since I'm impatient, I brought a little tiny pump. Next I'm going to lay out the sleeping bag, which is the Jazz 30. It's actually going to be a low of 17 degrees Fahrenheit tonight. So I have this 30 degree sleeping bag, but I also have two fleece blankets, a sleeping bag liner, and a lot of layers, really good layers. So I think I'll be warm enough, but worst case scenario, like I'm in my car, I can turn my car on. I could be home in an hour. Like it's not gonna go wrong. I'm just trying this out tonight. Pillow goes in there. <laughs> so I feel like I kept a very basic setup for now. So obviously in the middle, my sleeping pad, sleeping bag. Right here, I stuffed all my extra layers, extra blankets, uh, what I'm going to wear to bed. Just have some cooler with some snacks and food for the rest of the day. A hiking backpack in case I want to wake up early tomorrow morning and go for a hike around here. I got a little power bank so I can charge everything. And this is also a light. I got my jet boil, some water, some lanterns, and then underneath the sleeping bag, there's some more hiking gear. You're about to watch me make the most gourmet backcountry meal you've ever seen. But first I want to take a break to tell you about the sponsor of this video, which is Element. Element is an electrolyte drink mix. I've been using it for a while. I'm out walking the dog right now and I made my Element in this water bottle right here. Today I chose the watermelon flavor, which is really good. And it just makes me forget that it's 30 degrees outside and tastes like summertime. So I'm enjoying it. It is so important for me to remember to to replace the electrolytes that I lose throughout the day when I'm working out because without the electrolytes I get headaches, I get tired, I get muscle cramps, I get all the things. So I just feel really good when I have Element in my day-to-day -day life. Sometimes I get sick of drinking plain water but with all the really fun flavors that Element has, I always mix it up and it's always exciting for me. If you want to try Element, you can head to my link, which is drinkelement.com slash New Hampshire. When you use that link, any purchase you make on the website will include a free sample pack with all the flavors for you to try. Again, that's drinklmnt.com slash New Hampshire. Element's so good. Like there's no sugar, there's no artificial coloring, there's no like BS ingredients. So why not give it a try? Now, back to car camping. <laughs> this jet boil is not doing well, but I think the water is heating up. <laughs> I have a super fancy dinner tonight of ramen. <laughs> I knew I was going to be out here in the 17 degree weather making dinner, so I didn't want anything too complicated. Um, so nice warm ramen it is. That's boiling. I'll give it a second. So there was one question I got that made me laugh once, and it was like, how do you eat 
ramen with a spoon because on my through hike I only had a spoon with me and I ate ramen a ton and what I do with this is before I cook it I like crumble it into little tiny bite-sized pieces then I eat my ramen with a spoon so I don't know if anyone else was wondering that but that's what I do <laughs> Ramen on a cold night. It's always so good. Let's bring it to the camera. So dinner's done. It hit the spot nice and warm. I am doing well. The only thing that's cold are my toes, but I had some extra hand warmers, put them in my boots, and now I'm fine. I was just thinking about the big reason why I love camping and like camping specifically and not hiking um, it's because I can just turn the world off like if I'm at home like that's fun but I feel like there's always something going through my mind like maybe I should do the dishes or the laundry or has the dog been let out or there's just a million things like what am I gonna wear tomorrow I have to set my alarm clock there's just I don't know, so many things that you don't even think about that happen in just the normal day-to-day -day life. But when I'm just out here in the woods and all I have is my car and I really didn't bring much. Like, there's no service here. Um, it's already dark. Like, I'm just chilling. I'm just, like, really relaxing. It's just, it's, yeah, such a, such a state of calmness. And I absolutely love it. I just love having this alone time. I feel like the campground is filling up a little bit as the night goes on, but I don't think there's anyone too close to me, so it still feels like everyone's super spread out. That's the update for now. I'm just gonna sit in the woods. I have the back door open right now so I can feel the cold air and the breeze and everything. I think the stars are gonna start showing. And there's the giant moon roof right over my sleeping bag, so when I lay down tonight, I can look up at the at the trees and the stars and see all that. I almost forgot, I bought this thing on my way here today, like a winter windshield cover. I think it's made to keep the ice and the snow off your windshield in the winter, but I wanna just use it for privacy so no one can see in the front of my car and see me sleeping. Um, and it'll also block the headlights uh, when people drive by the campsite all night. I'm gonna need more space. I think that's it. <laughs> that was easy. That's what it looks like from the outside. So I've been laying in my sleep system for a while. It is definitely chilly. I'm kind of like, I have all my layers on, I'm curled up in a ball, I got some hand warmers in there, but it's all right for now. It's almost eight o'clock right now. So I'm thinking I can maybe make a cup of hot chocolate and warm myself up a little bit and then fall asleep. <laughs> um, there's not much to do, honestly. When I first got here around three o'clock, there were Quite a few campsites that had fires going, but honestly, that's just not really me. I'm not really one to start my own fire at a campsite. Usually every time I have a fire going, I'm with someone else who enjoys making fires. So that would have been cool. That would have been something to do, but I don't know. Maybe next time I'll get into making a fire. All right, let's look for this hot chocolate. Got the jet boil back out. Cup of hot chocolate. All right, let's climb outside. <laughs> I don't know much about fuel, but I don't know. Seems like there's still a little left, but I don't know. Is it too cold that this might not work? I don't know. Could be empty. Anyways, hot chocolate's not gonna happen. That is it for tonight. Unless I have any more updates, it's after 8 o'clock. I'm gonna try to go to bed, try to stay warm, but I'll let you know in the morning how that went. I can't have hot chocolate, but I can have the rest of my Reese's cups. And yeah, 
Wish me luck. It is cold out here. <laughs> Good morning. I slept all right. I slept warm, warmer than I thought I would. Ugh. You know what? I woke up and immediately have to climb up here and drive back because I have work in exactly one hour. Um, I didn't know I was going to sleep in this late. I thought I was going to be wide awake at five. I was going to go for a hike. I was going to have time to explore and then go to work, but I'm running late. 